So to kind of kick us off, I wanted to kind of start with a couple of comments. Um, my role is a transportation industry principal, so I help, I have two jobs. One in helping our core customers integrate their supply chain and their supply chain assets, um, and as well as core transports, plane, trains, automobile, ships, and trucks, and the modal infrastructure. And uh, Martin is uh, head of our metals mining materials uh, print, you know, uh, strategy and group, so he's the industry principal for that. Um, we were fortunate today to have all of our talks actually converge around bulk material and, and around supply chain and integration. So um, it was really fortuitous. We were able to bring all this great content into one, one seamless thing so you wouldn't have to be jumping back and forth between different sessions. But to kick things off, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the big picture. Um, you know, we're all on a digital journey, and you heard the keynotes, we're all, you know, both our customers and OSI, we're all on a digital journey for transformation. And our journey continues, and we're all at different places at different times. Um, really, every step that we take that builds on continuous improvement, uh, we, we deliver more and more value as we kind of build through that journey. It's an important part of, of, of realizing the value, moving to the next step, and iterating as quickly as you can uh, to, to increase. From my perspective, really the supply chain pieces are the IoT archetypes, right? They are the, the next big thing that's coming along that's generating significant value, the supply chain 2.0 or 4.0, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's really creating some tremendous uh, value propositions and also almost delivering on the promise of supply chain integration that happened almost 10 years ago. So, and I really think all the talks today kind of confirm that, that, that the path is becoming clear and, and we're on that path and everybody's demonstrating that they're moving forward there. So I really wanted to, again, thank the speakers for sharing their stories, but really kind of set the context. Now, one of the things, I, I don't know if anybody's uh, seen or read this book. I read this book earlier this year and I was really taken by it um, so much that I wanted to call attention to it. This book really talks about total value optimization. You know, we always talk about value at OSI and, you know, your value and how to drive value. This really kind of brings the highlight to value and how to bring the whole company up to the maximum value it can deliver. Um, it's a great book. It's a little preachy. This is a consulting firm. Uh, I actually reached out to Stephen. He wasn't able to join us here today. I was hoping he might come and share, share his uh, story directly, but it's around a digital maturity model, which, which we, we're always talking about, we're always in that process of. Um, this is kind of the model that they bring, and of course we normally focus on the operations piece, and the part that, 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 that Martin and I collaborate on is really around the logistics part, but there's also a procurement part, and, and they talk about all three of these, and build a model and a metric for how you build through that, that maturity model. So that's one, one of the things I thought was really great about it. It's a lean approach, it's really value focused and value to customer and value to stakeholder focus. It's m very much in line with everything that we talk about as a company. And anybody who comes to our user group meeting will get a free copy. So we have digital copies and hard copies that if you come, so that's my bribe for you guys to come to users group. Um, but if you come, we'll give you a free copy. Uh, I think we've got 20 copies each and hopefully it'll be enough, but uh, if not, you can look up the book. It's a great book. So let me turn over to Martin. He's going to walk you through the agenda, and we'll get our first speakers up. Thanks, Matt. So for those of you in the back, please come in front. There are still some seats available. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll go very quickly because uh, we have a full day agenda, uh, great sessions. First one will be uh, artificial intelligence applications um, with CEMEX. Uh, it will be a great talk. Uh, <clears throat> then Arun and Deb uh, will, will talk to us about how uh, they, they've improved uh, their operations at the Barrick uh, Cortez mine with predictive maintenance uh, using uh, uh, Petasense IoT device. It's quite an interesting story. Uh, again, I don't want to hit all the, the punch, so I'll try to be very brief. Uh, Nutrien, great way of implementing AF into a, an organization using their Pi system, so that's a very good presentation too. Uh, <clears throat> CSL, great way of optimizing uh, uh, Vessels operations, so a vessel is like a plant in itself, uh, but it's a moving plant. So quite an interesting story from uh, Remy and Jean Frederic. Uh, <clears throat> next one, Lydia and John, I, um, we'll talk about how they can manage their underground uh, vehicles, underground equipment, and how they can see where everything is located, people, vehicles, equipment. So quite an interesting story here also. 
Uh, <clears throat> ArcelorMittal, Michel will present us uh, how they use the Pi system at the heart of their all integrated supply chain. So quite an interesting story here too. And then uh, Patrick and uh, Flavio will talk about uh, how they use the Pi system as their, their, their integration strategy for, for to, 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 to deliver or to um, enlighten Industry 4.0. So quite an interesting story here too. And then uh, our user groups uh, will have Francois that, that will talk about the uh, uh, that will do actually a, a steel demo, uh, quite an interesting story for those metals customers that we have in here. And uh, <clears throat> we'll also look at the using machine learning with, of course, the Pi system on whole trucks to determine the remaining useful life. Of course, this can be applied to other types of assets, but in this case, the demo will be on whole trucks remaining useful life. So quite an interesting story here too.